Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the iCloud storage and the iPhone storage. Both of these really, really important, especially if you have a lower capacity iPhone and if you have a free iCloud storage plan with only five gigs, then you need to know how to actually make more space for your data and all this without having to delete any of your apps or your photos. Now, most people, when it comes to clearing storage on their iCloud or iPhone, the first thing they will do is actually delete photos or apps that they might even need. But in this video, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you get more free storage without having to delete your photos or your apps. The first thing you want to do is head on to your mail app. Now on the mail app, of course, you will get a ton of attachments. Now what you can do here is delete those bigger attachments. These are saved on your iCloud. Of course, if you have mail enabled for your iCloud, all these attachments will be saved there. So they might take a lot of space. So if you don't see the attachments folder here, all you have to do is just tap the edit button right there and make sure you have attachments enabled. Once you have done that, you tap on done and then you go to attachments and here you will see all the emails that you have with attachments on them. And of course you can go ahead and take a look at these and tap maybe the edit button and delete any of these. That way you will free up a ton of storage on your iCloud account. The same thing goes for messages. If you have iMessage enabled on your iCloud, so you have messages on your iCloud and everything is saved there, head on to your messages. Now you can do that from the settings app, but the best way is actually to go on the messages app and you can go to a conversation when you know that you have a lot of attachments and if you just don't want to delete everything what you can do is actually just tap right there on the photo of the contact and you will see here all the photos it says photos but it will actually be photos and videos as well because you see we have a video there so you can tap on see all and you can actually even filter here photos screenshots and all that stuff that you have here of course tap on select you can pick what you want to delete you can delete these that way free up a ton of storage from your iCloud. Next up, we're moving to the files app on the files app. You will have basically two locations here. You will have the iCloud drive and on my iPhone on my iPhone are things that are saved locally on the devices storage. Here you will have your iCloud drive. So you go there and take a look at what you have saved here. Now, mostly here will be downloads that you might have saved into your iCloud drive that you might not need anymore. So go ahead and take a look here at the download. See what you have here, what kind of files you have that maybe don't need tap on select. You can just go ahead and select these. And of course, make sure you delete them and then go ahead and delete them also from the recently deleted folder, which you can find right here. Now on the iCloud drive there, if you use it to download stuff, you will have probably a ton of different files downloaded. A lot of them might be even bigger files that are taking a lot of storage on your iCloud. Next up, what you need to do, head on to your settings at the top of the settings, go to your iCloud and here you will have iCloud backups. Now, if you have iCloud backups enabled and you use this, you will probably see here a ton of different backups. Now, some of them might be old or maybe from an older device that you don't need. You can actually delete any backup you want directly from here. Or if you have just decided to maybe backup your iPhone on your computer and you no longer want to keep an iCloud backup, you can always Always go ahead and delete the backups from here. It will save a ton of storage. Another thing you can do here under the iCloud settings is tap on show all here where it says apps using iCloud. And here we'll see a list of all the apps that are using your iCloud to actually store data there. So you might see apps here that you probably don't need. If you don't need any of these apps, you go ahead and turn these off. So it removes the files and doesn't let that app basically back up and save files into your iCloud account. That way saving a ton of space. Now, most of these apps, if they don't do that on the iCloud, they will store them like locally. But if you just don't want them to have space on your iCloud account, just make sure you go ahead and disable them from here. And another thing you can do is tap right here, manage account storage. Now, once you go here, you will see a list of all the apps that have data saved on your iCloud account, and even it will show how much they are taking space on your iCloud account. So we right here, you can see we have, of course, the most right there will be photos. Then we have the iCloud drive shortcuts, notes, of course, health and all these that probably are things that we need. 
until here, until health, mail, and then there are like things, apps we might not need at all. We can just go ahead and, for example, delete this data right here. 25 megabytes saved right there. So there are a lot of apps that you're not maybe even using anymore, but they are storing like files on your iCloud account on, or have done that before. Maybe when you needed them, use them, no longer need them like this app right here. I don't actually even remember when I have used this. I can go ahead and delete these data from my iCloud as easy as that. So we're done with the iCloud account and let's move on to the local storage of the iPhone. Now, of course, besides deleting apps and photos that you probably don't even want to do, there are a lot of things that you can do. One of them that I see taking a lot of storage on people's phones are updates. Now with updates, you have two things you have to do, either install it or delete it from your iPhone. So head on to your settings app. If you know that you don't have your device updated to the latest iOS version, if you go to general here and you have software update, automatic updates, if you have downloads enabled, automatic downloads, you will most likely have a downloaded file here. So general iPhone storage, and you will most likely see here a file that has been downloaded for an update that will be a few gigs actually big. And you will see it right here, it will show at the top because it's of course quite big. So it show, should show right here, maybe two or three or even more gigs. So what I suggest you do is always, of course, make sure that you update your device. That way you have the latest iOS version, but you also remove that file that you don't need. So you have the update, and you have more free storage. But if you just don't want to update, you just go right here, just like I would go here and make sure that you delete the update. So that file is actually no longer taking up space on your iPhone. And if you're just not planning to update, which again, I suggest you update, then go ahead and also go here to automatic updates and make sure to turn off automatic download if you're not planning to update because it will again download the file and just take a lot of storage on your iPhone. Next up, we're moving to the camera settings. Now, there are a lot of things that you can configure here in order to make sure that you use the storage of your iPhone the best and most efficient way possible. Now, when I go here, first of all, go to formats, high efficiency for camera capture right there. That's the best way to shoot on your iPhone. Apple Pro Raw, if you actually don't need it, don't enable this because photos shot with Pro Raw will take probably around 30 to 40 megabytes per picture and that will take the space on your iphone really really quick same way here for ProRes. if you don't actually really need them don't enable them on your iphone then we have video recording you can see my configuration here i use 1080p at 60 frames per second now the videos that i shoot on my iphone will 99 percent of the time be played only on the iphone doesn't have a 4k screen so why shoot on 4k when you cannot play those videos on 4k i always use 1080p you can see the difference right here so 90 megabytes per minute right here 1080p 60 frames per second if we move on to right here 60 frames per second at 4k is 400 megabytes that's like five times more so for one minute, actually like for three and, a, and some seconds, it will take one gig of storage on your iPhone. So if you're not planning to actually play these videos on a 4K screen, don't bother shooting on 4K, it will save a ton of space. Now, when we talked about the iCloud storage, we talked about the Files app. So again, we have two locations here, iCloud and on my iPhone. Make sure to check on my iPhone as well, because you probably have a lot of downloads here that you don't actually need anymore, and they're just taking up space on your iPhone. So you go to my phone here, and if you have downloads, you will see a downloads folder here. Make sure you go ahead and check the downloads folder. If you find there any files that you don't need, make sure you go ahead and delete them like right here you can see i have downloaded this wallpaper from chrome i have it here on the files app but i have already actually saved it on the camera roll so why have it in two places just taking up space delete this from your device and you're good to go now something else that will take a ton of storage on your iphone is website data a lot of websites will take a lot of space on your iphone now i do clear the history of safari and all the website data very regularly but still there will be a ton of website data so if you haven't done that for a long time there will probably be a lot of data that has been saved on your iphone so head on to your settings go under safari 
and right here we'll have the option to clear the history and website data but if we go right here to advance then what we can do is also take a look at how much space this data is taking on our device and also clear those individually if you just don't want to clear all the history and everything at once so here you can see a list of websites and all the space that they are taking on the device so we can delete these just like that so go ahead and swipe like this you can delete any one of them tap on edit if you want to to delete them like this or you can of course show all the websites and remove all the website data at once now the same thing has to be done for third party apps as well. If you use something like Google Chrome for example, head on to Google Chrome and make sure to delete the website data as well. There will be a ton of data probably saved into Google Chrome as well, so make sure to do that. It will help a lot of course. If you use any other web browser other than Safari, you have to do that from time to time because those will save a ton of storage, a ton of data actually on your iPhone storage. Now here's another thing you can do. Head on to your settings app and delete message attachments. You can find those right here. Of course, if you're not using them with iCloud, then you will find them right here under the iPhone storage. You go to iPhone storage and here you will find all the apps. And of course, it shows how much space they're taking up on your device. So every app will be in here. So let's just find messages. So if I go here, you can see what it says. It says top conversations photos and videos i can go ahead and go here it will show me all the photos all the attachments that i have on my messages app of course i can go ahead and delete them all from here I can select them just like this and delete them if i want to or i can go ahead and go to the photos and you will see here the conversations that you have and it will show which of them is taking more space on your iphone that's the easiest way to find the attachments and delete them from your iphone storage and last but not least, also really important, are cached files. Of course, a ton of apps will save files on your iPhone, and those cached files will take a lot of space. There are some apps like Spotify or maybe Snapchat that offer the option to actually clear cached files. Every app should do that. But what you can do is, in this case, if you use Spotify, a lot of people do, head on to storage here under settings, and you can just go ahead and clear the cached files. You can see right here has actually like 2.1 gigs of cached files. We can just go ahead and clear that immediately from here. For the other apps, there's actually no option. You cannot clear the cached files. The only way would be to actually delete the app and reinstall it. But if you don't want to do that, you will have to leave those cached files there. But just for an example here, we can go ahead and take a look here at an app, for example, TikTok or Twitter. You can see here if we go to TikTok, 1.2 gigs. The app size is actually only 326 megabytes, but it has 880 megabytes of cached files. Same thing goes here for Twitter. You can see 922 megabytes of cached files. Now, the only thing would be to actually delete these apps and reinstall them. So, of course, those cached files will pile up in the future again. But for some time, you will have some more free space. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Of course, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.